Silver Sea travels to 1,084 destinations, which, as we've heard, is a record in the cruising world. And the reason they can do that is because of this more intimate size of the sailing vessels. And as well as travelling to more destinations, they've also upped the ante when it comes to the calibre of the onboard activities available while you're at sea. There's an extensive program of what they like to call onboard enrichment here on Silver Muse, and in keeping with the six star setting, there really is a very big choice. The big question is where to start. Slowly, with coffee, and the help of an expert. Flavio, the ship's hotel director. Nothing happens on this ship without his knowledge. Flavio, thank you so much. You're welcome, anytime. Uh, do you ever actually have to ask for anything on board this ship? Usually only once, and then they tend to remember what you like. I notice that food plays a really big part in the onboard experience. It does. We have eight different restaurants on the ship which provide eight different types of cuisine that our guests very much enjoy, particularly on the longer cruises, so it gives them more choices. Uh -huh. And how does that work into the activity side? Well, we have a lot of different activities involving food. We have galley tours, we have wine tastings, things that the guests can see interactively. Later on this morning, we're going to have a cooking demonstration with our executive chef, and he's going to be preparing some Morton Bay bugs, which is typical of the area that we're sailing in. And generally, the, the food demos that he does are, lend themselves to the location of the ship at the time. And do you have different themed cruises? We do, we do. We have uh, selected wine cruises where we have experts on board doing sommelier courses, uh, doing wine tastings. We have uh, a, one of our resident chefs, um, he does uh, cook and learn, so he'll take the guests to the markets, buy the produce, teach them how to prepare it, and then they sit down and have it for lunch. Fantastic. Fabio, I noticed in the, the program they actually call it onboard enrichment. That sort of gives me the feeling that we're going to disembark wiser than we embarked on the cruise. We'd like to think that you will disembark wiser than you did when you came on because we have a lot of specialised lecturers. And uh, for example, next cruise we're going to have an astronomer coming on board uh, and he's going to be giving lectures about the local skies, as in the Southern Cross. What about some of the physical activities to work off all this food and eating? <laughs> physical activity, we have a state-of-the-art gym on board and we have a personal trainer in there uh, who's doing daily Pilates classes, yoga classes and as well as one-on-one -on -one personal training. And then we have things like team trivia, we have bridge instructors which teach you how to play bridge which is a very big team effort. How about some of the evening activities? In the evenings we have a lot, of, we have two shows uh, usually we have either an early show or a late show. Um, then we have entertainment in all the bars and venues. And then usually in the panorama, we have a late cabaret. I haven't had to stay on this trip for months to actually do all these activities. Flavio also said uh, karaoke, but this, this is his best idea, salsa dancing. <laughs> With a Cuban horn dance instructor, no less. Okay. <laughs> One, together and two, together and one, together and two, together and one, together and two, together and one. Oh, where am I going? God, thank you. Thank you so much, everyone.